do a big level up, start taking on the vampire again, and then if it if we don't win. If we don't win, then we keep trying. Then we go level up some more. Round three. Two vampires in the front rank who are a royal pain in my butt. Alright. Double slash you two on one of the front rank vampires. Your spell cancel, you cast Yaba on yourself. Try to mute the vampire. Okay, this is working better. Still a lot of damage. Do I get to seriously mute him? Good. Nope, did not work. Worth a shot. All right. Vampire. All right, assisted AA. Actually, spell AA. Uh, spell. Um. Need to heal. Need to heal. All right, back rank is good. This is the master vampire who's going to hit us for a ton of damage and possibly 
Only the back rank. Good. All right. Okay. So now, do two restrict shot on them. Being whether to do crisscross or to whether to do bird attack. Let's try crisscross. Crisscross will make you jump, jump, or juggle, juggle. Whatever the case may be. Neil Durgan. That worked. Okay, I think it works better with the converge attack. Oh, worth a shot. Which spell you casting? Cool front rank. Ooh, that nearly killed Keo. That sucked. Okay, immune to fire. So force will. So force does damage him. Okay. Not action spell. Okay, Kyo's still in this. Okay, good. Did drop his evasion. Okay. And his debuff attack didn't even last a full turn. Good. All right. I'm going to get back to assist attacks here. Spell cancel by you because I need to, I need you actively healing. Okay, 
Yeah, they didn't take the level deal level damage that time. That's good. All right. Okay, so it looks like crisscross is going to consistently deal damage. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's got an evasion where we have to keep using crisscross. It looks like it did land the, the level drain, apparently. Okay. All right. Got him! <sighs> Not enough to level everybody up, though. Anybody up, though. But I got the quest completed. Oh, I'll get more XP when I turn the quest in. Man, thanks. I guess fighting the undead lord physically has its limits. But it sucks that I didn't even get to use Garcia's weapon. Man, nothing can be more pathetic. Oh, yeah. Forgot to thank you. Name's Wolf. I owe you one. Let me thank you as well. Thanks to you, Eugene will be saved. Then if you kill the contracted demon, the contract is nulled. Now Eugene has no choice but to stop his plans. He might hate me for it now, but one day he will understand what we did. Behind her, a small whirlwind formed and swept away the ashes of the Lord of the Undead. You humans are such interesting creatures. The ashes moved about like they had their own will. One by one, they bunched together, forming a human shape. Lord of the Undead stood there like nothing happened. Though well, your reason for challenging me is for the sake of a loved one, we, living for nearly eternity, cannot understand your actions. You fear death extraordinarily, yet you cowart death for such trivial reasons. How irrational. Put away your swords. Let us call a truce. We give you a piece of advice. Essentially, it is impossible for you to defeat us. Just as darkness returns... Despite the morning sun fending it away, we are an eternal existence. But it is a sad thing. That god can never love us. We were given eternity, but in place of that, we are forbidden to live above. To show ourselves in the overworld, we do not appear in this form here, but rather as an uninvited guest, wandering as a detestable beast or as a phantom. The Lord of the Undead smiled. His voice sounded hollow as if it came from far away. Have you not? Have you noticed? In this world, you are the uninvited guests. Ah, yes, it's too bad. The contract with Sir Eugene Gistam is still in effect. His show, a soul shall be under the King of Darkness forever. What the hell was he talking about? Before that, why doesn't he die? Grace's face was pale with shock. They are immortal, and we are not of this world. What's that supposed to mean? Are all the other monsters secretly coming back to life like that guy? But then, what about all the monsters we've defeated until now? If that bull is true, then the world's in deep shit. You could have just used the... Uh, okay, I just had the desire to not be creative, not to be repetitive and redundant, but still... Grace was murmuring faintly. Eugene, I wasn't able to save you. Don't sweat it. There's got to be a way. Plus, there isn't any proof that what he said is true. But it doesn't look like I can handle the lower forest for myself. Let's go find some other adventurers back in town. Garcia's quest has been completed. Go to the tavern to get your reward. Oops. Okay. And then there's a trap right after you complete that really hard boss fight. Really? Really, game?
Alright, let's map this room and that will actually complete this wing of the dungeon. Also, hey, there's a... Trapped chest right here. Ah, got a new vellum. Nice. Okay. Yep, so see, the guiding staff only shows the rooms that you've explored. Alright, so... Whereas maps will show the whole room, the whole level, including areas you haven't explored yet. But with them marked differently. But yeah, this ring here is now basically fully mapped. Because then that teleporter will take me over to this area there. So uh, next, looks like my next excursion will be working on the right side. Um, in the meantime... Do I have a spell that will get me out? Nope, currently the only way out is, is Potion of Town Portal, basically. That's a pain. Oh, that's a... How about those asks and axe... The axes I have to deal with as well. Let's free up some inventory space. Let's deal with the axes first. Just get them out of my inventory. Not going to equip it. Another hand axe. Oh, the extra sculpture charm that can go too. Oh. Look about turning the vellum. I can't wait. No, let's see if I can put the, the, that wrist first. Nope, I can equip either a cloak or I can equip the Pravanu wrist. That's silly. Like, inventory wise, a like, charm on the wrist or on the neck, or the wrist use a different slot than like a, a cloak, which is a neck or back slot. Alright. 
Vampire Claw, which I don't have yet. Slime Jelly and Hound's Ear. And let's turn in the quest. All of you are back safe and sound. Garcia walked towards you with a friendly smile. I heard it didn't make it on time. Well, there's times like that. Garcia laughed loudly. <laughs> Wolf was really depressed after he came back. He said that the Lord of the Undead whooped his ass. He's always been by himself, so he had the confidence to take on anyone. But that's good medicine for him. I won't do anything rash. Oh yeah, here's your reward. You got a neck breaker and a giant pile of experience points. You know, he said something weird. Then all the monsters come back to life. That's nonsense. If that's the truth, then the world's in deep shit. Don't you think so? I believe that one day this town will regain its beauty. See you later. Two handed sword. Carlo has leveled up. Neckbreaker. The vital area and kill an enemy in one go. It's one attack at a time. Be used by warrior, knight, or... M, which oh okay so Durgan can use it I'm headed over to Durgan. He's already using two hand a two-handed sword anyway. He doesn't we won't get that second attack. But like 20 damage versus like 20 damage, like a regular 20 damage times two, which gets you 40. Versus a higher level of 53 is an accuracy drop of 15% uh, though. It's not like I can stick it in my box at the uh, inn or anything like that. I'll give it a shot. If I don't like it, I can switch back to the other swords. It's not cursed or anything like that. Uh, let's go back to the inn. Press up since we leveled up one of my party members. Yay! And also we burned through a lot of spells on that fight, so we need to get those back. He will be leveling up soon. Probably also Creo. So let's save my game. So this is a good place to wrap for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any 
future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.